So as most people know, Apex is not in a very good state right now. Myself and a lot of my other friends who are content creators and also my casual friends have all stopped playing the game. There's issues like the terrible pub matchmaking that makes this game hell for anyone trying to play solo. Sometimes you wait five or more minutes in a queue just to get ran down by a Masters Pred 3 stack of Navy SEALs trying their absolute hardest for no reason. Ranked matchmaking is just as bad. There's silver and gold players in Pred lobbies. And I know for some people that's intended with the MMR system, but it's also happening to a lot of newer players. On top of that, sometimes you get brand new players on your team, even though you're a higher rank. Not to mention there's still no real incentives and reward to actually grind ranked. So many legends that are just boring to play against and suck all the fun out of the game. Catalyst, I'm looking at you. Don't forget about all the other issues that have already been in the game forever, like visual clutter, the worst audio I've ever seen in any video game, 20 tick servers, cheating is still a huge problem, the never ending struggle between mouse and key and controller, which I won't go into because I feel like that argument is so dragged out, all of the low effort quick cash grab cosmetics, just overall sort of lack of content in the game. Oh, and I also can't forget to mention the lack of competitive support. So many orgs pulling out left and right from Apex. This just feels like a completely different game than the Apex that I used to love playing every single day. And I'm sure there's many of you who also agree with that. I've always known that this game is changing and evolving constantly, sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worse. And I've always been able to look past that. Up until the very end of last season, they changed something. And this was the last straw. I just could not take it anymore after this. Some of you might already know what I'm gonna say. And that was the silent change that they made to the matchmaking for pubs. And the weirdest part was that it wasn't included in any patch notes anywhere, but their players aren't stupid. It's all that anyone's been talking about on my Twitter feed since it's happened. As soon as they changed that, it was like night and day difference in how the lobbies felt. The games got so hard and every lobby is just 90% three stacks playing it like there's a million dollars on the line. Like we're doing ALGS in pubs. Basically respawn just tightened the range of the players that you can match with in your games. But I think that they tightened it way too much and it's led to pretty much just ranked matchmaking button pubs. Sometimes the pubs are even harder than my ranked games. And if that's not bad enough, sometimes queues can often be several minutes long. Several minutes of waiting in a queue for a pub game that has this many players should never be a thing. But I still think the worst thing about this is that they said absolutely nothing. I'm sure there's a large percentage of players who weren't even aware of this because a lot of people don't even play pubs. A very large portion of the player base only does ranked, but ranked has never really been what my content centers around. That's not to say that I don't play ranked. I still played it almost every season, and every season I was Pred and Masters, but my content has always centered around highlights and high damage, high kill pub games, just because that's the content that I enjoy making. But whatever change that they made at the end of last season to the matchmaking algorithm, it just made this game completely unplayable for me. It made the game 10 times harder. And if you're playing solo or duo trios, it was already hard enough to come by a good game consistently. If you guys have watched my content before or have been following me for a while, you know that high kill, high damage games are nothing new here. And sure, I'm not fade, I don't drop them as consistently as he does, but still it was never really that hard to get a four or 5k damage game. After that change, nothing i have not gotten a single gameplay since the games are just so hard and unfun it's three stack after three stack playing it like algs like there's money on the line for no reason and if the constant three stacks aren't bad enough in 90 percent of my lobbies there's only four or five teams left after the first zone closes but even in the games where people make it past the first zone everyone just sits on the edge of the zone and plays for endgame there's six or seven teams in the last zone and it plays out like algs that's how the game should feel in ranked it's okay to have ultra try hard sweaty games and ranked but for pubs that's just not how it should be at this point we basically just have two ranked modes just one has a visible rank and the other one doesn't in fact most of the times it feels like my pub games are harder than my ranked games there's already almost zero rewards for playing ranked right now but in pubs you can get the same exact matchmaking play people of the same rank but instead get absolutely zero reward and about a week or so ago when they put in that new ltm with season three world's edge we saw a slight a very very slight glimmer of hope for a few days, the matchmaking felt like it was back to normal. I hadn't played the game for almost two months, but I saw how everybody was hyping it up on Twitter, so I figured I'd hop on and try it out. And my second or third game on, I had a 16 kill game. And keep in mind, I have not played for almost two months. Previously, when they changed the matchmaking at the end of last season, my highest kill game was 13 kills and 2700 damage. And this is coming from someone who's dropped dozens and dozens of 4k plus games and multiple 20 bombs, but it had never been that hard for me to get a high killer, high damage game. That is my first time in the entirety of me playing Apex that I have genuinely 
struggled to drop a high damage, high kill game. But after they fix matchmaking with the new LTM, I get on cold with absolutely no warm up, and I drop a better game two games in than I did when I was hard grinding the game playing for several hours a day with the bad matchmaking. Yeah. I know I'm ranting a lot, and I've never made a video like this before, but I just wanted to voice some of my frustrations with the game because this is a game that I really do love. This is the game that got me really going with content, and it's given so much to me that I really just want to see the game succeed long term. As for my future with Apex, I honestly don't know what's going to happen. I'd really love to get back to my old routine where I'm uploading a couple times a week. I'm posting clips, highlights, gameplays, tips and tricks, guides, but man, is it hard to want to play this game with how the matchmaking is. I can't promise that I'll be uploading a ton of Apex in the future unless the matchmaking gets reverted to how it was. And to be honest with you guys, as much as I would love to see that happen, I really don't see Respawn going that route. There's just so many different games that I want to play and try to make content for because Apex has been slowly pushing me away for a while. And for those of you who are already subscribed to me, I'm sure you've seen that already. I really hope Respawn realizes the state that their game is in and starts making some good changes to bring this game back to what it was because man, this is a great game at its core. There's so many good mechanics with the shooting and especially the movement. Apex at its core is one of the best games of all time, and I really want to see it succeed. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the state of Apex and any frustrations that you guys might have with the game. That's going to be it for me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.